Hello everybody, welcome to the preview for the round of 32 chalice. I'm joined by Purple Chest and Keith. So, let's have a look. We've got Terrible Dwarf Being versus uh, a big team. Okay, let's have a look. Can search through the uh, thing. Oh, so this is Psy Talon's Chaos Dwarves. And that's a pretty nice team, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's, there's there's nothing wrong there. Yeah, He's I mean it's maybe lacking a little bit of superstar factor, but the bulls are are fine without being overly exciting. Uh, the chorps are pretty good. You know, there's a, a strength four stand firm claw mighty blow guard. That's a lovely piece. Uh, we're going to see a, one or more of those at least. Uh, there's not there's a claw pommer. There's another claw mighty stand firm. Two guards, one of which is stand firm, and then uh, the rookie, which has a skill to take. So uh, probably another guard coming in there. Mm. If anything, it's a, I mean, I don't like good hobgoblins, but the uh, the bull carrier, it's fine, isn't it? Actually, blodge sure hands. It's very efficient. Yeah, yeah, it's efficient. It's an efficient team. Eighteen forty yeah. TV. Um, yeah. It's not a monster team. It's got two mighty bow and a claw palm, so it's got about the minimum hittingness. Well, no, actually, it's got two claw mighties and a claw palm, so it's got yeah, like yeah. it's got minimal bashing players, but then they're quite well equipped for bashing. Um, and a blodge break tackle tackle bull, which is uh, really nice for hitting and for uh, stopping any elves breaking through or any nonsense like that. Yeah. Uh, and a break tackle guard bull, which you can put pretty much anywhere you want with its strength for. Um, th there's nothing much wrong with this. If I had to pick one weakness, it's the one ball carrier. No backup if the ball carrier goes down. But it is still a blodge piece with sure hands. That's that's fine. It's good enough. Yeah, and it's and it's it's really TV efficient. I think that's the biggest thing about it. Yeah, is is the TV efficiency. And yet it's still got thing. 13. It's you know it's even got a little bit of a bench there. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. I think that's very nice. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Here's some rats from Nuru. He's got a move 10, sprint to your feet. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, well, I heard a wise man once say that if you reach the chalice with rats, there's pretty much going to be a one turn of gym. <laughs> yeah, someone did say that, didn't they? Quite realistic. I, quite I have heard that opinion. Mm. Oh, God, he's got a terrible rat ogre. Niggled rat ogre. Oh, God. Um, well, I mean, you could start with he's got a rat ogre. God, yeah. <laughs> um, the fact that it's niggled makes it even worse. Yeah, um, yeah. but it's it's kind of rowdy, you know. Block guard and break tackle. Yeah. Um, he can shove it wherever he wants to, and I know where I'd shove it. Yeah, he's got, got a two prehensile tail. He's got two rookie stormen, and so he desperately needs the rat ogre. <laughs> he hasn't got blitzers. No, I I had noticed that. I mean, he does, but he also doesn't. Yeah. Uh, in one of those paradoxes of the ages. Yeah. So he's got 40 TV to come on, 10 to come off, so it'll be 1780. So he's not going to get the wizard unless he cuts things, and I don't think he can Could really it? afford to cut things apart from the rat ogre. So maybe he will cut the rat ogre. I, I think the Rat Ogre is chumming the water in the next match, my friend. So I would, yeah, I'd look at dumping the chump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so and then you can spend a little bit of cash, because 30 of that is, of course, uh, cash bloat on that 1770, but that's balanced by the two skills to pick. Yeah. Um, you could spend a tiny bit on, on another rat to replace the uh, the Roger and still probably have enough for a whiz, which um, with those rowdy... Uh, I mean, you say he's got no blitzers. He really doesn't have any blitzers. Um <laughs> But he does have some nice gutters, doesn't he? Yeah, kind you know, of. There's a guard one, there's a plus agility one, and then the one to take a skill is both tackle and wrestle, I believe. Yeah, but Or is it tackle strip? More. Yeah, ta tackle, block tackle dauntless. Ah, block tackle dauntless, that's dauntless that looks just like uh, at this this size. Wrestle and strip ball, which all look pretty much the same to me. Yeah, I find wrestle... Uh, I find... Uh... Wrestle and tackle look no, I don't know what it is. Wrestle and something look the same to me. Wrestle and kick maybe they look pretty similar. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and a skill to pick there, so that could end up a really interesting piece. I mean, I, I don't hate that gutter pack at all. It just really, really, really needs a, a couple of hitty pieces to round this team out, and he doesn't have them. 
Yeah, yeah. Now that might mean he just doesn't have the confidence to get rid of the rat ogre that he feels he needs to keep it, yeah. which I think would be a mistake. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's got to get rid of the rogue. I think he just has to. But that's that's a very efficient chove team, isn't it? Interesting. Mm, it is. And then we've oh flip me guys. Then we've got the Helfening versus a team name that I literally can't enter. <laughs> so that's nope. that's disappointing. Uh, <laughs> you can. You just need an onboard uh, Russian keyboard. Yeah. Um, that's the that's the same way we need to find them to expel their teams when we throw them out of it. <laughs> if they get banned, if the Russian gets banned by the Russian names, you cannot copy paste the names then. <laughs> so you have to actually. I, I, I got Russian installed. Wow. Russian is barely that's moving. A, and Polish as well. That's this. This. Slightly different uh, character sets. Yes, uh, there is a point made in chat. Thing. This is not the Helfening. Yeah, this is the Helfening. This, this is the Helfening. This is the wrong this team we're looking at. This is a nice yeah, one. This. this is Lesnik. Uh, this is the one that uh, that took out Dionysian. Uh, yeah, with nice, uh, uh, pretty awesome use, not only of the strength for wrestle piece, but of the thrower of all things was <laughs> one of the heroes of that game. Yeah. Uh, and not just once, but twice, Jim. Twice. I'd still rather it was Bludge Guard. <laughs> um, you know, he could still do the things, right? And he could have just been Bludge Guard. Yeah, he absolutely could. Um, however, as well as twice getting Lesnik out of the hole, uh, he did also cause a lot of the problems in the first half by being completely terrible. Yes, that's true. But yeah, this is so, a nice team. Isn't yeah, it? he was very much the story of that first game against Dionysian, was the story of that thrower. Hmm. 1990 TV though, so it's a lot of TV. Um, is it? Because you see, I mean, there's a lot of bloat usually on a high elf team. This is managing to have 13 high elves, including yeah. two plus strengths, two plus agilities, and still be under 2,000. Yeah. I think it's pleasantly free of bloat, weirdly. I'm not, yeah, um, I'm not saying it's bloaty. It's just, it's just, is just a lot of TV, isn't it? 2,000. It is. It is. TV. But, you know, for 13 elves under 2,000 by a shade, with all of those stat-ups, I mean, it does mean there's things it's short of, but whew, it's got some options. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely uh, don't dislike it. It's just, uh, oh, God, is this the team Diamond Necro? Could be. Um, I think he's playing this team. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is a nightmare. It yeah, certainly looks yeah, like a very similar string of things I don't recognise. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Right, so he's up against so sort of two thousand TV ish necro. Um, yeah, this is a necromantic team. <laughs> it, it is that. Uh, we have the um, we have the claw popping wolf. We have a another wolf with what? What is that sort of wind sock thing? That's the final skill of that. Timing tackle. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. Without sidestep, that's interesting. Yeah. So four stand firm. Yeah. Two dirty players. Thirteen players yeah. total. Six but four guards. stand firm is is really interesting. All with guard. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, but one of the whites. Yes, it's stand firm, but it's also agility busted. So it's it's very much a, an understrength fleshy. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It really is. It's a really interesting build, but yeah. I think strength for it. strength for guard blodge step sure hands ghoul. Yeah, he's done a lot of scoring, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. He is long time. I don't hate it. I mean, there's a lot there that I wouldn't necessarily do. I, I mean, I, I don't like Corp on the Um But the High Elves aren't going to foul it out, are they? So no. Unlikely. I mean, I say they're not. They might. Yeah, it's interesting. But it's also 2000 TV, so right now there's uh, there's no inducements either side on that one. No, yeah, exact exact same TV if he takes a normal skill, so yeah, very interesting. And then we've got Rats Fascinating with Fascinating draw, that one. Yeah, I've got no idea who's going to win that. Yeah, as the gambler, I wouldn't know where to put the money. I... 
I can really make good arguments for either of those being the favourite. Mm. That's a fascinating matchup. Yeah. Right, Rats with Horns versus My Norse is a massing. Right, I oh, hear Sea Brawls. 1500, he's got a natural one turner. <laughs> Woo! Keep <laughs> you peace. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And I got a runner to get the ball to the one turner. Yeah. Which is, in theory, all you need if you can stay alive. Yeah. Now, this does have a blitzer. Yeah. Um, who's. You know, lovely with his strength four, his horns, his uh, claw, mighty and tackle. Ain't nothing that can't hit hard. Uh, and also, really importantly, perhaps can pretty much guarantee moving things around to make the hole that he needs. And we all need a hole sometimes, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Only eleven players. Yeah, so he, and he can only get to twelve. Uh, but he could induce players depending on what he's up against. Yes, 15-10. I think that's worth uh, bearing in mind as we head forwards here, isn't it? Yeah. So he's 17-70, so he could, like, induce things. Uh, no, 17-50 it's going to be. No, 17-40. Oh. 13 players. So he's he's likely going to have a wizard. He might not even get the wizard, right? You don't need yep. the wizard if you just one turn. So maybe he'll just get reserves and, and rely on the one turn to win. This is a, a 13-man team. The uh, the Norse could look at cutting one or two. Because, um, of course, the, the Claw, Mighty Pom, Monstrous Horns um, vermin. Claw not going to be a lot of use here. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't mind. think you can cut the Yeti if you want to have uh, success in later rounds. Much as I don't love Yetis for the ladder, um, I think they roll you into teams much bigger and then you go oh I need it for the bigger teams which you're facing because you've got a Yeti <laughs> but I think in Chalice you do need a Yeti uh, and that one's not, not bad at all yeah so but on the other hand mm. if you lose this game it doesn't matter that yeah. you've got a Yeti for yeah, the next true. game in open true. <laughs> and, it, and it is niggled so yeah. that's perhaps another point in favour of uh, junking it but only one SPP from the next level so he's not going to no, yeah, I think he's not that. going to, but I think he maybe should. <laughs> now, there's an interesting blodge, break, tackle, ulf. Yeah. Uh, that's that's an interesting piece there. The other ulf, also quite interesting. Oh, no, the other ulf doesn't... Just yeah, dodge. not interesting. It's just got dodge. No, I was looking at the zerker just underneath it, which is, of course, uh, a pom zerker with tackle. Uh, that, could be, uh, that could be ruinous against rats. Famously, I don't particularly like POM, Jim, but I do like it against AV7. Yes. So, And I do like it on Berserkers. Pieces that come naturally with Jump Up, I think, can take it, and that's fine. Yeah. Because although there's matches, I still wouldn't use it much. There's still times I would. And, I mean, the thing with the Yeti we've also is got a, Sorry, we've got uh, a Strength 4 Zerker as well, which is uh, almost like another Ulf, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. But yeah, the Yeti may have won the first round game, but this Yeti is giving... Skaven a wizard or loads of reserves or whatever, so I really wouldn't hate losing the Yeti for this Yes, game. but it's a claw pom Yeti, one SPP away from another skill, with already block on board. But He's not cutting that, not while I've got a hole in my arse, Jim. <laughs> no, I don't think he is going to cut it, but I think he should, because Skaven are pretty fucking good at winning games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. However, he has got the numbers, he has got the dirty players, he has got uh, plenty of... Uh, has got that nice rat-killing Zerka. Uh, he's got a claw pom yeti that he probably loves. If he just bangs enough out, um, there's a route to victory for the Norse there. Yeah. But I, I, I favour the rats. Yeah, me too. Right. Bengala versus Caprion. Bang. So this is Eskiza, never heard of her. Um, with four warriors, and good warriors, right? Claw yeah, mighties, yeah. Guards, blocks. Nothing I dislike there, all very solid. Yeah, strength. I don't think that agility bust matters at all. You've yeah. got three that are, that's good. Per almost perfect carry, he doesn't have stats, but he does have blodge. Sure hands, and he's got the two heads, which is like a little bit of stats, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can do six AG4 dodges in a turn. The nice thing about that mutation, it isn't just a one pop and done like, uh, 
like break tackle is, it can be used uh, repetitively throughout the turn. Yep, but of course, as Kilmatronic says, this hole in the team would really like to be filled by a beastman with block, mighty blow, piling on, claw, tackle. And yeah. he doesn't have that. that, that yes, that, I mean, even I, building a chaos, would at least have one proper killer. Yeah. And despite never claw pumping, uh, I probably should build something that does before it all disappears for good, shouldn't I? <laughs> Yes, that's interesting. I mean, that's, it's 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 kind of TV efficient, but then it doesn't have the killer, so it's also kind of terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, yes and no, Jim. I mean, if you're going to go that way and not have a killer, I'd like to see some deeper skills on the Beastman. Um, my humble Chaos team, I've told this many a time, never claw pommed in its life, never had claw razor sharp claws way back in Living Rulebook 4. Um, and made up for it by having strength across the board, being able to blitz at strength 4 from anywhere and everywhere. Um, and just uh, playing with that solidity. And that can work, except it doesn't work against other killers. You know, other killers will take you down. Yeah. Um, so I do think the killer is missing there with the rest of that build. But there's enough on the warriors to think he can still get damage done. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Not, um, he's only got one rattle, hasn't he? And uh, he's up against four bludge, four bludge vampires here who could do some things, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah. Now, vampire's not very fast, so the fact there's two move up there, I quite like. That uh, just makes them a little bit faster than the Chaos team. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and yes, the amount of bludge there is a worry. Uh, there's a deep bench of thralls. Enough cash to throw some more in, and enough team value to get some inducements over the top of that. So, I think the vampires have got a real shot there. Yeah, I think I would pick the vamps in that match, in fact. I'd fancy them to go through there. And also, both, neither of these teams are particularly heavy, which nope. is an, another argument for dropping the, uh, the uh, Yeti on the Norse team there. Yeah, because the next round, it's, it's not going to help much, is it? against those yeah he's going to keep it that chap yeah. and he's going to hope that he, he comes up against the chaos and gets to bang out those warriors with it yeah of course yeah, I'm sure he will keep it alright so here we've got a uh, a terrible looking um, wood, uh, terrible looking dark elf team I can't it's believe that, anybody it's, it's 1700 it's got loads of weapons two great witches it's got a kill piece look it's got a, a claw it's got a, a mighty blow piling on tackle uh, Blitzer, that's uh, that's ruinous. That's incredibly dangerous. Oh, it's got two blodge step blitzers, one of which has diving tackle. Honestly, PC. Uh, yes, it's AV7, but it's you know that's a diving tackle blodge step blitzer. There's another <laughs> blodge uh, blitzer, two other blodge L's. It's just it's packed with blodge. Incredibly hard to tie any of those pieces down. They go where they want. Uh, I mean. Oh. Talk about proper elves left in the cup, Jim. This is one of them. I'll be honest. If I lost against this team, I'd never play Blood Bowl again. <laughs> Only <laughs> joking. Of course, this is who PC's playing. That's why I said that. Um, it's all right. It's not bad, is it? I mean, for 1,700, it's it's all right. It's got some tools. I think it's pretty bad. Again, no guard is huge. No strength. Um, he's only got one stat. Um, and he's built it wide with loads of bludge, which can be good uh, one against of those, some teams. I it's think you're missing the fact that that Wrestle Witch is Leap. Mm. Which means it can, you know, go where it wants and uh, and frenzy things down with its uh, Wrestle mm. and Strip Ball. No, I, honestly, I, I really don't like this team. I, I, I'm not surprised that it beat Mr. Page in, in the previous round, um, but I, I think there's a lot of better elf teams in this and I'm not I'm not just saying that to be a dick <laughs> I uh, I do think that that uh, it's it's uh, particularly against PC's build as well I think the fact that it's wide is is worse against dwarves right because having loads of yeah, okay be, yeah. guys that are blodge is not going to do you as much as having you know a strength four dude who could who could leap in or whatever so. But look, there's just nothing on these dwarves. They're very, very ordinary. They're very ordinary, but it's nice, though, isn't it? It's nice. They, obviously, they could do with being more TV and you know have more stand firm and stuff. But um, and they could have more guard as well. Actually, they're lacking guard, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're lacking loads of things. They, I didn't bother building them really. I just got enough to get into the chalice and stopped and did the goblins because they were a lot more fun. Yeah. And if the goblins are qualified, I would have brought the goblins. Wow. With their ludicrous AG5 pogo, because that was just hilarious. 
Yeah, I mean, this, the, and this is amazing, all right. They're sixteen, seventeen. The thing is, if this team was better, they'd be giving the wizards a they'd be giving a wizard to the elves, and then they then yeah. they could be in trouble. But, yeah. Um, so the fact that they are really that, there's a runner there with a, a level to take. Um, yeah. And if you remember, he had a pom, dark elf. Yeah, he's, I think he's definitely. So, uh, <laughs> well, I'm I'm not going to give away any secrets, but yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. So, damn, damn, was that out loud? Damn. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a dirty player runner, so that that pom elf gets kicked in the face if it poms. Yeah. And I, I've never minded being pommed with AV9 and Thick Skull. Yeah. I mean, it, it sometimes works, but it's it not really enough that it, you should fear it. Exactly, yeah. No, I'm, so, I'm, I, they're I'm elves. That's always a problem for dwarves. They've got more pace than me. They do have um, a nice leaping wrestle, which even at red dice is always a worry until I kill it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I would... I'm going to struggle to convince people I'm not a slight favourite in that one. <laughs> you really are, yeah. I'm, I'm picking you all day there. That's, oh, so this is the this is the Camry that we've just seen against Gedernik. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely picking PC for that. I don't want to I don't want to dwell on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and so this is the Camry team that we saw. It's I quite like the bare bones. Tomb Guardians, really, I kind of like them, right? Because it's easy to get a lot of TV on them, and they are the t they are the players that get stranded a bit. And I feel like you do want your TV more on the throwers and blitzers, so you can lean on those carrying mm. the team, and then just have you know basically rookie skeletons and just guard Tomb Guardians is pretty much all you need, right? I think if you just yeah, have I mean, guard Tomb Guardians, it'd be enough. It, it's fine. It's very. It's not bloated. That's you can certainly say that about it. Yeah. Um, it's got. You know, two people that can pick the ball up. One as a leader caddy, one with kickoff return. That's a nice pair to have. Uh, one that can get near and one that you keep a little bit safer, but you know, can still do some ball carrying if you want. It's got some hitty pieces. It's got four tackle. That's good. Two of which have mighty blow. That's good. The skeletons aren't overskilled. That's good. I just would love to see a tiny bit more on the Tomb Guardians. Just a tiny bit. You know, Maybe perhaps two of them with stand more. firm and the fourth one to at least have guard. I think then I'd say that's a really nice Camry team, to be honest. Yeah. No bloat, lots it can do. Oh, I, I do think it needs to be coached things. a little better, Jim. I, yes. I can't hide that. Yeah. But it worked mainly because Gdanik had absolutely shocking, shocking dice. Yeah, all, all due respect. <laughs> no, I mean, nothing against the coach himself, perhaps playoff nerves, um, perhaps just. You know, couldn't believe his luck, uh, and hopefully he has a look at the, uh, the VOD, and instead of getting terribly cross with what we're saying, thinks a little bit about some of those moves and thinks, yeah, actually I could have made that a lot safer at times, and next time I will. Yeah. Um, that would be lovely to think, and I, I really hope that's the case. I don't want to piss people off. I want to, but I'm not going to shy away from saying things aren't good if they're not good. But it's not about the human; it's about the blood bowl. Yeah. And how about this? This team is awesome. It's very, very nice. The record's awesome, 19 one, yep. one. The team is yep. awesome. Yep. Again, kind of bare bones, right? Very TV efficient. Oh, even really, really team. lean. Uh, yeah. Completely mean. But what else do you want? What What do you look at that and think, oh, it's missing? Uh, I mean, well, I, I'm not a lover of Mr. Throw, but if you're going to have a Mr. Throw, a bludge strength four ones, not a bad one to have. Yeah. It does make short drives easier. The bobs are fine. You could say, oh, I'd love to see some stand firm and some mighty blow on them. And yeah, I would. But at that point, you're really pushing the TV up. And there's plenty of hitting on the blitzers. Mm. I mean, by plenty, loads. Mm. Only one POM. I think that's nice and restrained. Uh, I don't hate one. I think that can have its uses, depending on the matchup you're up against. Yeah. The troll is fine with just one skill. You can buy one late in the run, or you can churn them if you're not getting decent skills on them by two skills, which looks to be what happened. And even the line orcs have got sort of useful skills. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's pretty funny. You could uh, change all the first players, and it will look like what he normally brings, just being born. But it's yeah. pretty much yeah, yeah. the same, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, not it's, much it's... separate. I mean, I don't. Te I tell myself I don't build bash teams. I build strength-based control teams. <laughs> um, Singolo builds bash teams. Yeah, I think it looks really. Yeah, good this is reasonably chance. restrained. Yeah. I mean, none of them have gone mighty blow first, except all the blitzers. But the bobs haven't. Yeah. No, he's so. I, yeah, I really like that build. It's it's fine. It's very very efficient. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I really like it. Oh, fuck. I've already forgotten uh, which team this is. <laughs> is it these Did orcs? Are you getting stressed out by just seeing Andy Davo's face everywhere you go, Jim? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, right, it was it was these. So 1950 orcs now. A bit more TV on these guys. And a bit more a bit more funky. A bit more funky than Singolo's team. He's got stat ups. He's got yeah. doubles. He's got move Increase. busts. <laughs> Edge busts. And obviously this is the ideal black orc, isn't it? Mighty blow block. Guard stand yeah. firm. Obviously you would rather yeah. have four like that. But having four block guard is the most TV efficient. They're the best two skills and so yeah. you know it's, yeah. it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. There's gonna be so many times the black orc blockers need to not be blocking as in hitting, but blocking as in being in the way of stuff. And uh, mm. Block Guard does that very, very effectively. Um, the Bobs are fine, aren't they? Um, as you said, you know, you're missing Guard on one, but that's not so bad. Uh, the rest have all got good skills on them, nothing bloaty there. The Blitzers are a, a rum bunch, aren't they? <laughs> There's something. Um, but again, only one promo. Yeah, and that's the one with the skill to take. That's the, uh, the Move 5 one. But it does have jump up to mitigate the uh, the downsides of pomming mm, in terms of position and, and movement two very and control. Flexible. Two really flexible ones, an agility one and a plus move agility one. Um, mm. Those are great. Yeah. Uh, the, the troll has come block first, so then I don't mind that it's got three skills uh, because it's a little more reliable than just a normal lump of meat that you want in people's faces getting hit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 fine. This is this is obviously a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. But it's it's fine. <laughs> I quite like it. I quite like this one. Uh, yeah, but Drake is good. Yeah, it's Franz Coach. Funny okay. enough, would bake and pretty good. And normally, I'd say a, a blitzer that's move busted because orcs are inherently quite slow is is a real worry. Um, but when you add in that there's one that is uh, move up and agility up. That's probably enough to compensate for that. Yeah. Well, I think I think these Amazons are going to get the shit kicked out of them by those <laughs> orcs. <laughs> well, this is sort of what you'd want to see on an Amazon team that might make a deep chalice run. Uh, there's a plus strength one that's gone mighty blow on the blitzers. That's very nice. There's a plus agility one uh, that's also weirdly taken stand firm, but that was before the agility, so we'll forgive that. Um, there's two others. You know, you need four blitzers, and they're there. Uh, there's a couple of reasonable catchers, uh, one of which is blodge step with diving tackle, so that can be used offensively. The other one of which is just blodge, so a lovely handoff option or a short drive option. Some of the line ladies have been developed quite well. There's a couple of guard in there as well, which are both blodge. Uh, there's a tackler with sure hands. That's okay. That's a nice safety as well as a ball carrier. So it's all fine. And then you look at the fact that uh, you know one of the the Rog lady is uh, is AV busted. Uh, that one of the blodge guards is move busted. That uh, the AG4 blitzer, the last one you'd want move busted is move busted. <laughs> uh, and then you look at the fact that they're just Amazons, and you think, yeah, they're going to get destroyed by someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're done. <laughs> I think they're done. I mean, no, no offense to Phil, just as he may be a great coach and he may play great. But, uh, you know, just try to judge on teams in this. And I mean, that weird, said, but... they are going to get a big chunk of inducements over the top. Yeah. You could see Zara in there. You could see Roxy in there. You could see a wizard in there. Uh, mm -hmm. A wizard and some rowdy appos for use. Could still see them in with a shot, Jim. Yeah. I could. wouldn't dismiss them. Like I said, it's kind of what you'd want to see on an Amazon team, except all the red numbers. Yeah. And I, I, I can and will write them off. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got. I didn't say Roxy and Wiz kill Madronics. I said there's some options. Roxy, Zara, Wiz. I haven't done the maths. I'm making it up as I go. Yeah, and maybe I've you done can no, I've done no to get them. Who knows? Um, right, so this is El Dudorinos. It's very yeah. We liked you too, Chunter. We liked that too. Uh, we will come to that. Yeah. Um, so this is El Dudorino. It's again. It's. It's all right. I mean, I think as as we said when we cast it, Jim, this very much strikes me as a team that 
got into a chalice qualifying place and went, oh, I'm in a chalice qualif qualifying place, I'm going to stop right now, just in case I get myself out of that place. <laughs> yeah. When really, it could have pushed on and just done another five games. And as long as it won three of them, that would probably still have been all right. Yeah. Um, because it didn't have a huge number of games on it, and then it could have got a couple of just a couple more useful bits and bobs. Yeah, it needs some guard, doesn't it? Desperate for another really cast on him for guard. Yeah, urgently it needed the guard, and it didn't manage to pick it up last game. Yeah. Now it's still got a, it's got a nice it's got a nice claw palm tackle piece. That's great. The ball carrier does lack dodge, but at least it's got two heads as well as block and short hands. Uh, one of the rotters is Fend Wrestle. That's quite useful on the line. Another one, the Dirty Player's back. Um, so that's that gives him one more tool for the next game. Um, the Nogal Warriors, they're solid without being spectacular. Uh, one's Mighty Blow, one's Strength 5, one's Claw Mighty. So they're all right. Mm. The Beast at least isn't bloaty. It's just got Guard. Um, some people would say that should be stand firm, but as there's no guard elsewhere on this team, even I would have taken guard there. Yeah. And I much prefer stand firm on a beast. Wow, I much prefer guard. So there you go. Okay, that's interesting. That, I'm not sure that debate's ever been 100% solved. <laughs> except that you're wrong and I'm right. And well, I'm right. Jimmy's always cool. right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in on that, Cool? First skill on a beast of Nurgle. Hmm. I think it depends on where you are. Oh, I'm in London. Uh, he's in Darlington. That's where we are. <laughs> Just say guard. Come on. I like it. <laughs> I'll probably mo mostly start with guard as well. Yes. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Turns out you're both wrong. <laughs> That's settled then. <laughs> right. So this and is I a do human. Think. Sorry, carry it on. It does depend. As I was about to say, it do depend for me a little bit where we are in the run. Yeah, but on that team it had to be guard because there's no guard anywhere else. Yes. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, so yeah, this is a kind of bare bones human team, isn't it? Seventeen hundred TV. Um, yeah. Very, very uh, like you rely basically on the blitzers to do the heavy lifting, and they're pretty underskilled. Um, only three guard play, like three of them with just with guard. He does have a tackle. Yeah, underskilled. Jim, you look at this team and you think, where are the blitzers? And then you see them and you think, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I presume all of them died. <laughs> yeah, they must have done, wasn't they? Um, and have been replaced not that long ago, because um, it's really not hard to score on a blitzer if you choose to. Yeah. And then you look at the catchers and you think, oh no, perhaps he's just never done anything with them and he's only ever scored on his catchers. Yeah, and he's got nice catchers, to be fair, hasn't he? An edge up one and a move up one. Yeah, they're lovely. And it, how many eights? It's not as bad as it could yeah. be. No, I mean, catchers in Blood Bowl 2 are bad and wrong because they have armor 8 but it makes them beautiful and brilliant um, he's got a move 9 lodge step catcher he's put diving tackle on it um, why? I don't know <laughs> cool well, why? Bed. okay yeah that's um, I mean it's, it, it makes it multi-purpose hmm. but do you want that piece being multi-purpose? Probably not. I mean, I like the other catcher build, and I can't even tell what its skills are. <laughs> Rackle Dauntless. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot, then. Yeah. Um, but that one, I like until he's taken Diving Tackle. I think at that point with Move 9, much as I despise Natties, you either go Sprint or Sure Feet, don't you? Yeah, I would have. Surely? I would have done. Yeah, I would have done, too. I could even make an argument for Nerves of Steel. Because <laughs> yeah. the uh, AG4 can toss it to it in the middle of a pack and it can um, bugger off afterwards. You but... need a double for that though, wouldn't you? So. Oh yes, so... of course. Um... Whereas Diving Tackle, you don't do you. But um, yeah. you Diving Tackle, you don't do you. I think that's a sentence that works <laughs> on several levels. Yeah. So that's interesting. I mean, I think I think humans are a pretty great matchup for Nurgle because you act like, you know... You, you're a chaos team. I always feel like humans are a nice matchup for chaos, but here yep. with Nurgle, they shut down the like speed of like you know the, they've got this sort of stymie bullshit of the of the yep. stink, which doesn't really yep. have any effect mostly. But against humans, being a little bit hybrid, it actually does have an effect. So I think it's horrific yep. for humans. Um, and do you remember those? I mean, the flip side of this, because I'm going to talk up for the humans a tiny bit. Do you remember those uh, those crap blitzers that you thought where are the blitzers? Yeah. The one thing they do have is three guards. 
That's true. And if you remember, El Dude's Nurgle had no god. Yeah. Except the beast. So, <laughs> I can see some roots for the humans, but I do think the Nurgle are favourite there. Yeah, and he's got inducements, so you know that that could even it up as well. Especially yep. the wizard, if, he, yep. if anyone who Very. anyone who rolls like Ducky. <laughs> Well, the wizard. fireball of the gods has been used for this chalice, surely, but mm. uh, it doesn't. I, it, you know, prior luck does not inhibit future luck. No. All right. So another orc team. This is this is this 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 chalice is like no to no to woodies, but yes to orcs, isn't it? <laughs> um, it certainly is. And look at those. Uh, yeah, just look at those. There's, I haven't found much to say about them. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. They're a bit like singles. Loads of yeah. guard. Um, yeah. Like Pommer, tackle, couple of tacklers. Uh, probably going to have three yeah. tacklers, actually. And, uh, yeah. There's a thick skull, a thick skull troll. He's got, yeah, he's got the Rick Reckless troll there. Yeah, um, I don't hate that. Um, if you look at his team, that's going to live on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. So it, it it's slightly because he's already got the two skills you really want if you don't roll a double, which is obviously guard and stand firm. Yeah. It's not so bad as a third skill. I really don't hate it as much as some people do. Wow. The the point of difference to this is there is actually a blodge blitzer. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Nice to see. <laughs> yeah. Twenty five one. Yeah, I think grab shit. I I always take I always take grab on my. Uh... On my mummies, and I just always feel like it's a bit shit. <laughs> so... well, that's because it, it is. <laughs> oh wow, the die or logo. <laughs> what are you doing to us? <laughs> this looks pretty nice, and not just because of the die or logo. Um, this is this is two claw pommers. It's going to be, isn't it? Because... Some people have said it does look like he has electronically slimmed that face down quite a lot. Other people have said it's uh, it's his cum face. I like to think he's uh, he's had his face put on a big balloon, and then just as someone's let half the air out, he's taken that picture. <laughs> I personally think that's the answer. This is only 1850. Oh, there's no hobgoblins. There's no skills at all mm -hmm. on the hobgoblins. Mm -hmm. um, but the the oh, warrior, uh, the what? Not warriors. Blockers are brilliant, aren't they? They are. Yeah, it's a it's a nice set. Of uh, Chaos Dwarf or Belockers, there. The bulls are pretty decent. Um, if you're wondering where's his bull carrier, Jim, I think you'll find it's right at the top of this list. Yeah. I, I think he carries on a bull. Yeah. The, the monster. Uh, it's Blodge, it's Break Tackle, it's Agility 3, and it has Tackle just so it can be a cheeky ball sacker too. Uh, but I believe that's the piece you'll see it, that it grab its uh, bullish-like hands will grab the ball. Yeah, so there's going to be a bunch of guard, five, six guard. But it prob probably not going to go at seven guard because he's probably going to take piling on on the blocker, I would imagine. Because it's just really nice. Well, he's, yeah, he's only got two claw mighties. Uh, one already has piling on. I think the deduction of the other one taking piling on is pretty safe, Jim. Yeah, I mean, you, you could go guard just for another guard, and, uh, you know... I would. Yeah, but I, I, but I think Clawpom's good, I, isn't it? I think I'm in a very small minority there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think I think he might win that one with that Chauv team. That's a very nice Chauv team. Um, but the Orcs, they're going to have that strength in the guard. They're going to be pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty brutal, aren't they? If only they had a strip ball player, if they were elves or something, but, of course... Elves have been said no to this season. <laughs> oh, that's really yeah, and I learned if you do, if you chalk and just auto pile on, you will win. Yeah, it's a real. Well, nice I mean, the advantage of two claw mighty pylons, of course, is if the first one piles on in turn one, uh, but it really limits its move in turn two. So you use the second one in turn two, whilst you get the first one back ready to claw pom in turn three, and that way you get eight turns of claw pomming with decent range on them. Um, so I don't, I don't. If you're going to play that way and Dwar Chaos Dwarves always do now, then two is probably alright. More than that, you're going to be tempted to have three Dwarves on the ground on the same turn, and that's probably terrible. And here we've got the team with the best win rate in the Chalice, 1610. <laughs> um, it's a very ordinary 
undead team, isn't it? 1700 it TV really for players. It's really, really unexciting. If we're going to talk this up, um, we're going to struggle. But perhaps the the agility for white and the strength for bludge guard ghoul are the I'm going to use the word stars of this team. The mummies are deeply ordinary. Yep. He's got a mighty blow uh, tackler. Um, the mighty blow tackle is, again, that's a very ordinary white. It's fine, but it's ordinary. Yep. Uh, there's a deep bench at the moment because he needed it last round. He could cut there if he really, really wanted to. Yep. Because um, he's at 14. That seems like quite a lot of them. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it is. It's really an unexciting team, but of course yeah. it's a very, very exciting coach. <laughs> um, Ducky is an absolute legend. Certainly better than this coach. Um, and at 14 people, it is only 1,700, so it's it's certainly lean. Yep. Uh, they're going to have at least 140 here, and as Jim's already told us, that all he's going to do is buy, uh, with his 60 bloat gold, he's going to buy a 70k line. Uh, it'll have 150. Yeah. Uh, now, correct. as I've said before, uh, that could easily be a whiz, but it wouldn't shock me if he uh, goes, drops one of his uh, his bench and goes with two bribes instead. Oh God, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> um, and yes, caution, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, so yeah, I mean, this team's pretty nice, isn't it? it I think this is. Uh, I think this is pretty. I think this is a pretty nice team, right? It's like it is TV efficient. It ain't 1850 TV. It's got pretty much everything you need with the, the two guards, the two strength ups, the two move ups. Like it could do with an extra tackle, and it obviously sprints your feet on the catcher. Is would have just been amazingly better for 40 more TV. Like that would have made well, so I mean, much difference. Yes. TV. What use is another tackle though when there are no other elves left in this chalice? That's that would be my counter to that. Yeah. You'd um, like it though, wouldn't you? You'd definitely like it. Yeah, on the, on yeah, the other, I would. On the other um, possibly even on one of the wrestle pieces. Yeah. Uh, the Rodge piece, you know, Rackle Dodge is lovely. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't hate it there. It doesn't have to be on one of the faster or hittier pieces. Yeah. Uh, other than that, one of the strength falls could have a mighty blow to really put the uh, really put the icing on the cake. And yeah, of course, it's... great team. Uh, if it was in the hands of a great coach, you'd think it would go far. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's going to be hamstrung by an absolute noob coach. So yeah, you know. nah, Jimmy. You know, I think you're a very good blood bowl coach. Um, the question is, do you enjoy yourself as you're playing? Can you keep your morale up if the first few turns go badly? Uh, if Ducky starts to get some Ducky dice, can you come back strong? Keep the faith, forgive yourself, and coach at your best. And if you can, it's going to be a hell of a match that one. I think you're slight favourite just because you've got a great team. Yeah, yeah. I think again, like like uh, like Andy Davo was a big favourite on teams. Um, I think I am less of a big favourite because obviously he's the bash team, so. He's got yep. a certain amount of inevitability in that regard, but I think I think my team is still the favourite to win uh, that yeah. game. But of yeah. course, yeah, there's there's things that can happen, can't it? And uh, yeah. you know, Ducky is a great coach. So yeah, two full claw pommers here and horns, claw mighty um, the troll. This is the one we just. Couple sold. of tips for you: don't leave your your back door swinging open when there's a strength for zombie only needing a four plus. I'd certainly <laughs> give that as a piece of advice. Yeah. Uh, and beware the fireball of the gods. Yeah. Yep. Um, Lino block claw mighty. Just basic throwers with block. Fair enough. Uh, wrestle dot wrestle guard. And uh, yeah, he skilled this guy instead of this guy. But uh, it's it's interesting, isn't it? It's it's not terrible. It's it's a long way from terrible for an underwhelmed team. Yeah. Um, I mean, lots of two-headed goblins that can go where they want. All they need to make sure he does is avoid playing, you know, a heavy tackle team like Chaos Dwarves or Dwarves. No oh, way. Wow. A uh, couple of rowdy hitters. They could be slightly better, but there's there's a horns one with Claw Mighty and piling on and tackle. And the other one doesn't have horns, but is otherwise the same. So all of that's great. Um, <laughs> He's up against. Patrol great. Just needs to avoid Chaos or Dwarves or ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's up against this. Oh. Yeah. I Anyone that didn't know, I did know that was coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so should you from the way I was saying it, frankly. Otherwise, you've clearly not listened to me do anything ever before. Uh, yeah, this is... It's a lot worse than a lot of Crucifer teams I've seen. But it's still going to smash the hell out of Kill Bill. 
Yeah. Um, mm. You know, Just the Chorfs are all developed. They've you know, four of them are stand firm. Uh, one is a mighty blow piling on. I think he just got really frustrated at not getting claw. Yes. Uh, and there's a strength for claw mighty. Um, but guard across the board. Um, two really bland bulls, but they sort of do all you need. Oh, they're really you know, good, yeah. Block, break, tackle, tackle and guard is the skills you'd really want on bulls. Yeah. Um, I may have, depending how the chores were going, I may have swapped one of those tackles out for something else, just to give myself some other kind of option. But they're they're really fine. And then exactly what we talked about on the other chorf team is here, which is two agility uh, hobgobs. So if one goes down, you've got another. If you face a bolt, you could have a bolt bitch that's still a brilliant ball carrier, and a better ball carrier ready to pick it up if it goes down. Yeah. Um, what's not to love? It's it's brilliant. <laughs> what's not to love is there okay. isn't a claw bomber, right? There isn't a clock. And it's right. twenty one thirty. Yeah. It's a if lot you're into it uh, uh, forty of that's blown, so yeah. Talk, mm. talk to the dog. If you're into it as it's like earlier today, it might you might have a chance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. The two the two claw pom blitzers can just tie through him and, and there's you know, he's not gonna be able to play around that at all, is he? So, yeah. Um there's gonna be a whiz on top of that of course. Um and all sorts of other stuff. And all sorts of other stuff, yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, you can't buy five wizards. <laughs> no. Oh, God, Norse again. Uh. <laughs> you love a bit of Norse. Oh, I really don't. <laughs> My strength well, five. And strength yeah. four. An edge four. Pommer. Some guard. Hmm. Four, four levels. <laughs> Waiting for four levels after his last game. What the hell? Did this man get to beat up halflings or something? He must have done, wasn't he? I say this man. Oh, it is Diom Lord. Yes, this man. Um, Goblins. <laughs> also, Diom Lord is, you know, very good at the NAF style. Very good <laughs> at uh, knowing how to play witch pieces. Yeah. Um, uh, real master with chaos dwarves. And five for five one zero in the NAF style with a dead roller dwarves. Yeah, recently won the uh, the NAF C online version this weekend. Oh, God, I wish did, I'd of course, that was you know, over a the weekend. The flip side of all of those positives, minutes. did get banged out in the Blitz Pit qualifiers by a team of goblins, didn't he? So, you know, not entirely <laughs> impervious to not, a bad lot. But not any goblins. No. Oh, any old goblins. Let's not, no. let's not dwell on it. The point is made. Um, anyone can lose any game of Blood Bowl. I think that's what that says. But it's, yeah. again, it's, it's all right, that team, isn't it? It's all right. For Norse, mm. Kerry's uh, that's though. probably about as good as you could hope Norse are going to get. But Norse are shit, so. <laughs> but so are Kemri. <laughs> um, that's a throw row, isn't well, it? Holy shit! Someone gets a buy next round. Um, yeah, this is Kemri. Um, yeah, the big guys had Kemri as a competition. That's four Kem. That's four Kemrys going into the. Uh, Oh, wow. And some Did, of them was, are better than other. Yeah, was the competition who can build the worst Kenry team and still get it into the challenge? <laughs> uh, maybe. But those four of them okay. are mainly big. The thing is, with this Kenry team, is I can see how it I got wins in, uh, in, in, in champs level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it's at 1670, it's got a fair amount. Yeah. But in the chalice, it doesn't. No, that's. But that's the gen. It's a classic problem we have, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Different formats, and loads of people don't know how to adjust across. Um, the, look, the top throw rod's great. It's strength four, it's agility three, it can pick the ball up reasonably reliably. It's even taken fend. Um, it's blodge as well. I mean, it's beautiful throw rod. Uh, fend, I guess, is because he still allows it to get hit for some reason. <laughs> but um, And then he's got a spare one, which he has taken leader on, so that's fine too. Uh, and then... Uh, there's everything else, and it's a bit meh. Yeah, but you know, you'll have three guard, two guardians, which is nice. Two block, you know, some. Obviously, I'd much rather had guard instead of stand firm, but hey. Um, yeah, I mean, I would too. Um, four guard there would make it much stronger to use the other piece as well, but as you said, two, two stand firm, two guard, two block, three mighty blow. It's not bad in the two guardians. No. And probably another DP and inducements. So um, yeah, and very little bloat on the Skellingtons, which is fun. 
Yeah. It's it's not terrible for a Kemry team, but it's a Kemry team. That's the problem. <laughs> that is the problem, yeah. But I, Just I like the Norse team were good for a Norse team, but it's still a Norse team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but Which is of why I said reason. someone gets a buy in round three. <laughs> and that's tiredness or generic underworld. Wow, yeah. So, Christopher gets two rounds that I think he should win both of. Yes, but it is dangerous. The underworld are dangerous for sure. With yeah, the underworld players. are dangerous. I mean, they, they, underworld are a very high rolling team. If they get the high roll going, get the snowball going, uh, they could just, yeah, they could win that easily. But whichever one wins that, as long as the team isn't utterly destroyed, should win the next round as well. Yep. In my opinion. Oh, Bert. Look at these Berts. It's a pretty shit Bert team. <laughs> <laughs> um, Some of us are working on making a better bird team. Yes, yeah. Um, so he's, he's got a nice blitzer moving. Yeah. Edge four, blodge. And jumps. three other blitzers. Yeah, tackle pommer with uh, yeah, that's, jump up. Is that's that jump good. Up? Yeah, jump up, yeah, tackle pommer. Fine. I, yeah, I like that one. Um, the Press. leader one is okay. <laughs> Problem is, you get so many skills. Yeah, if you don't roll in, it's too special on them. Yeah. And the third one, the you know, the, the plus ability plus move one's lovely. And then for some reason, we've got a blodge step frenzy. Um, the fact that it's sidestep as well as blodge frenzy is really good because it means you don't have to rescue it off sidelines. And I suppose if you had four yeomen with guard, you could support that frenzy piece. But without them, I think it's not that great. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe sidestep before frenzy. Yes. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it, all day long for me. But uh, yeah, I don't hate it as a build. One well, now that it's done. Uh, yeah. But then I think you need four guards so that it can be supported well, and you don't have them on this team at the moment. Yeah. Presumably, some died. Yeah, and he's going to have to buy Probably. a fourth blocker, but it will be a rookie blocker. Um, so we'll have yeah. two rookie blockers, only two guards. So he might actually just be able, he might just induce a skill blocker with guard, right? We'll have to see what he's up against. Yeah, that team. might be doable depending who he's up against. It's um, I remembered. It's not a gaping hole on the field yet, but it is a gaping hole in the team, Jim. That's uh, that's the problem there. Oh, he's not getting much inducements. Oh no, because we're getting seventeen ten pro elves, Vela Hoppier. That's interesting, isn't it? That is an interesting 11 man team. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's there's 10 of them, but yeah. Um, well, yeah, there'll be 11, 17, 10. It will, yes, of course. The blitzers are a bit bland. Um, the agility 6 catcher. It's hard to know how he gets value out of that. I suppose that's the ball carrier and thrower all rolled into one. Mm. Um, but then it's also wrestle tackle, so I guess it's the sacker. Mm. He's got a wrestle strip and a wrestle leap, so he's got like three because sacking he, catches. Yeah, because he's got a blodge step sure hands, so that's presumably the ball carrier. Mm. So the agility six is the option play, but with Nerves of Steel, Agility 6 does a lot less. Um, it, it's it's a bit of a weird one, this, Jim. I don't like this team, but it seems to have a lot, and yet, every time I look at it, I think, eh. Yeah, I, I would be... I think I quite fancy the uh, the Burts to... I mean, but the thing is, though, Vela, I don't know the coach of the Burts and Vela here is good. So, yes. A former champ, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past Vela here to just win that on coaching even though he looks to be behind on teams yeah I didn't love that team but it, it does look to be very well coached you're right alright and now we've got Nelly's Heroes which is Hoily Boy with bloody more bloody Kemri in this tournament <laughs> Hoily Boy another person with a lot of NAF success behind him recently yeah yeah he's done some he's done some good results in the res format over the last few months not so good at running with Blitzraz, though, is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> they are sad Blitzraz, board movement five. The, the thro funny, the throwers are really fast. <laughs> movement eight thrower. Yeah. You've got these horrible I mean, this is. Uh, I remember looking at this. Uh, I forget when, but I did. The thing is, here you can play that uh, that move eight like a sort of Bogolanti figure, can't you? <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, okay. You probably have to. <laughs> it's a defensive Hail Mary, though, isn't it? It's to sack and, and punt it away. Yeah. At least I bloody hope it is. Yeah. You can, you can you can play that like a Borgolante, yeah, 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 yeah like like what? You advance slowly behind a, a really slow wall of Tomb Guardians and move busted Blitzrans. And then <laughs> spring it out. And then you just spring it out and potato it away. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's, that's Simple. But, I mean, very good coach again. Hasn't lost with this team. Look at that, amazing. Hasn't lost with this I, team. So that's... Can I also agree on um, that's... Yeah. But, CCL is interesting at best. <laughs> but uh looks a bit of a shit team. <laughs> oh wow, this looks a fucking cool team, this. 34-12-5, played loads of games. He's put the games in. Two pro Dauntless Claw Pommers. Yep, at hell. 2,000 TV. Fucking hell. That's a nice one. Although 20 of that is cash bloat. Yeah. Nice hobgob. Horrible hobgob with frenzy. <laughs> God hob with frenzy. Yeah, Only what 12 is men. that? Was, did he get drunk? <laughs> Click a skill or. <laughs> hey, back to a bed. Must be a bed. I'm, I'm writing everything off tonight to a bed. <laughs> did he wake up having had divine inspiration, write down his dreams in his sleep, and then foolishly read them back in the morning and obey them? Um. <laughs> I don't, I hate that, but there we are. Um, it, you know, obviously with the six guard chorfs, he can support a frenzy piece, but oh, he doesn't have six, he has three. Yeah. And the bull, to be fair, and the frenzy piece itself. Now, if only your own guard could help you not get frenzy trapped with your little AV7 frenzying self, but it, it just can't. Yeah, I hate the frenzy, but everything else around the team is lovely, isn't it? Too yeah, I mean, this. I mean, I might even be tempted with a kick there, with a tackle there, because it's slightly more mobile, um, with a fend there, yeah. uh, because of the AV7. There's all sorts of nice things to put there. Frenzy isn't one of them. No, but um, I like the team a lot more than uh, than the, the uh, crucifers. No, no, than the, the Camry that he's playing. Um, okay. Well, again, yeah, that's. Bloody boy, me. I'll coach him. I don't know the chorf coach. So it'll be interesting. Um, and, uh, you know, with so much strength five, getting on top of them to make those claw mighty blow palm hits happen, not not as easy, maybe. Yeah. So if Oily Boy can split that team up or isolate, you know, a, a Tomb Guardian, then I can see him getting into a winning position fairly quickly and easily. So the Kemri, I'd, I'd make him a favourite there, but the, the Kemri, there is a way to win. Mm -hmm. uh, just stay in a big pack of Kemri for the whole game. Yeah, but again, he's got, he's got the Dormers, right? So he can just he can just make the yeah. rolls and, and back yeah. them out. Yeah, um, I think Brett's, whilst they're struggling a lot of matchups, I think Kemri is a really good one for them. Mm. So, well, look at that, Strength 5. Oh, this is the one that we've just seen, isn't it? Yeah, of course, Andrew's yeah. team. He's got two claw pommers, one without block, one with block and tackle. He's got a rackle and he's got tackle on the ball carry. Very important against halflings to have that tackle on the ball carry is very quite not pretty nice, isn't yeah, it? Actually, it's a, it's a nice way to free yourself. Uh, we saw him do that in the last game. Um, it's it's fine, uh, and also it's a great sacking piece because of that. Yeah, but um, I think the missing warrior is the story of this team right now. Yeah, huge. Huge guy. No, I, I don't think it gets replaced. I think we just have to live with that and see if it's uh, in a position to be, you know, useful at any time in the future. Yeah, so 12 players, maybe 1750, 1770 with 12 players. Yeah. That's what we're looking at. And how many re rolls? What he might do is he might buy a fourth re roll, right? Yeah. He may well buy a fourth re roll because what he's up against. <laughs> is Shunter with definitely who's definitely hundred percent getting a halfling chef. Yeah. Um, um, if I was you know facing flings, uh, yes, I think um, having four rostered rerolls does make a lot of sense. Uh, and, and because you know the flings have just got an enormous amount of inducements, um, it doesn't matter if you spend much over the top or if you get a lot bigger. So, yeah. 
However, these flings are... They're not great, to be honest, Jim. If there's, if you remove one player from this, you've got a block tree, you've got a three ordinary skill tree. Um, you got a, I mean, there is a couple of block flings. That's all right. But, I mean, look at that dirty player. I'm sure you love the idea of it, but it is move three, Jim. Yeah, he's a dirty player, so, though, isn't he? So you can't get rid exactly. of him. Exactly, so you still love him. You still love him, of course you do. But he is move three, Jim. Yeah, he's move I mean, three. It, he is. That's really slow um, and the rest seven. are naked as the day they were halflinged which is fine because mm -hmm. halflings probably at their best without skills yeah. in terms of just value for money yeah and the move 7 arch 4 is amazing isn't he he is double niggled <laughs> yeah, I suppose you might be able to afford even um, the count over the top no that's a bit much isn't it Yeah. and you'd take Stark anyway unless you're you know, absolutely um have money to put. It's like move ten. He's move ten. Yep. Match four. Like that's incredible. Yeah. Like, that is the problem with halflings is they're so fucking slow. So, well, I mean, it it does mean the tree can really look at uh, doing a uh, the shortest range of pass rather than the full six. <laughs> incredible. So um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what you know how Chunter sculpts his TV because you would have definitely imagine he'll take at least one star. He may indeed he may sack like the re-roll and and a play, two players even you know who knows what he'll do. He'll he's have to have a long think about it um, to work out how, what he's gonna you know how he's gonna scheme this. Um, but that just that half thing Creek, alone. Was if only Creek was on Blood Bowl too, I might recommend him, but. Oh, it's a bit hard too with Fez Glitch, isn't it? He's not quite so good. You can't get Fez Glitch, can you, for halflings? No, I, I, sorry. Um, God, I was, I was completely thinking about the other team as if they were the smaller <laughs> one. So as the flings, it's it's got to be a chef for 100, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%. And then, yeah. is there space for the whiz on top of that? Yeah, yeah, whatever happens, you'll get the whiz and the chef. And then Huggy, presumably. I mean, Zara, I don't hate. There wasn't a lot of uh, tackle the other side, was there? No, yeah, he might be able to get Zara as well, yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, that's of course, they are at 16, so they'll have to cut someone if they want to bring a star in. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I think they do. <laughs> I think they will. Yeah. And now we've got the final two. And we've saved the best for last in many ways, because it's a, it's a completely, completely... Boring, ordinary, pro L team. Nothing exciting at all. A move up guy, an edge up guy. I mean, all of this was true last round, and yet the pro elves all seemed to get through. Yep, some rest. And the orcs were all a bit bland, and the orcs got through. And the Kemrys were absolutely shocking, and that they all got through. And all the really good wood elves teams got smashed out. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's lots of there's lots of dice. Truly, this is all a simulation, and we live in the darkest possible timeline. We live in the Rick Reckless timeline because look at this, flip me, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Seven hundred more TV than the pro. <laughs> Do you remember the time when he needed ten wins so straight to get into Chalice, or at least he thought it was roughly that? Yeah. And we all thought, oh, well, he's had a great time with that team, but he's completely blown it. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it it'll be fun watching him have a go, and bless him, he'll have a real go, because he's not a quitter. Yeah. And then he only went and did it. Yeah, he went 9 one Flip zero. me, guys. Unbelievable. And he got, he got, you know, he got some players killed and brutally yep. injured, but then he, he got developed, he developed other players, and obviously he got the record, and... He just built some more. Yeah. And he's there. Yeah. Building, building, building. <laughs> and it's it's a monstrosity of a team, isn't it? Like it's oh, super, it's, super yeah. dangerous. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's beautiful to see that he's done it with a full pack of blitzers and a bear. Uh, <laughs> lots of people saying, obviously, you should build Kislev with maybe only one blitzer or two. That they're very expensive, very bloat prone. Um, I do think a bear has to be there, but lots of people go, no, no, build around the catchers and the linemen are fine. And Rick's gone, ah, I'm going to have all the toys, why not? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, this is when the cat, the blitz has stopped being bloaty, isn't it? I mean, if you ignore them, yeah. the strength 2 one and the yeah. strength 7 one. If you ignore that, if you ignore those, this this level is, is 190. They've got a... Uh, 
they've only got four skills, but they're the same as if you had a human blitzer who had one, two, three, four, five skills, plus yep. leap, <laughs> yep. and very long legs. So like, and plus yeah, two and of I mean, skills. just just jump up as a little handy bonus there. Um, yeah. So yes, at this point they start to look. I mean, they look bloaty, but they're not. You're absolutely spot on. Uh, I was just thinking exactly the same thought as you, that if you put the four human blitzers up against them there, you know, by the time they've got to this point, you, you're not getting good skills to take, but the uh, the kids' level stroke slan still are. Yeah, they're incredible. They're, in they're just incredible when they get to this level. It's like, it's just stupid, like, how, how good this player is when you compare it to a human blitzer, you know, which are already good. This is just disgusting and disgustingly TV efficient. It's just amazing. So yeah, so he's got two. Yes, because they haven't had to pick any shit skills yet. Yes. Um, because but, right up until this point, almost everything you pick is just golden on them. Yeah, but also it's because as a rookie, they don't have block, do they? So then yep. you pick block, and then there's still too much, and then you get yep. you know guard, and there's probably still too much, and then you get yep. dodge, and now they're starting to look good, and then when you get the extra skill, it's, I think it's when yep. you hit the fourth skill is when they become just amazing. They've got. Yeah, and of course it does mean you don't end up with them all as ubiquitous as the other. You can take some stand firm, you can take some tackle, you can take some mighty blow. Um, and as you said, you know, if you get a dodge one or two, that's great too. So there's there's a lot that they can still add, keep adding, and it actually just makes them better and better rather than at some point starting to get a bit bloaty with skills you wouldn't ideally want. Because they've started with all of those, so there's a kind of free. Yeah, and now it just looks just looks amazing now. So yeah, so yeah. again, I and mean, then the catchers. Uh, I mean, they're fine. The support pack of catchers. There's a blodge guard. That's good. It jumps in nice and easy. The agility five ball hawk is just wonderful. Um, and then of course there's uh, just a, a backup one. So it's not too bloaty. It's, it's all fine. It's all really good. <laughs> Apart from the fucking catch instead of sure hands. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Um, <laughs> that's a Rick skill. <laughs> yeah. When it's already got diving catch, which it means it catches really easily, he's just put a reroll catch on it. Yeah. Which at Agility 5 with diving catch, when you already catch on something like a minus 1 or even a minus 2 for an accurate pass, is... Oh. It's very Rick. Um, it's very And Rick. he'll probably end up using it, and it'll be fine. Yeah. But your you whole end team is... Winning him a game. <laughs> yeah. It definitely will if this team goes all the way. That skill will definitely be vital at least once. Indeed, but how uh, many I don't times? know how. I don't know how the hell it ever could be, but it, <laughs> it certainly will. And how many times could the sure hands have been uh, key though? That's the thing, isn't it? And like the whole yeah, team, of, like I, yeah, every kids left team is about sacking. That's so. It's agility ball. five. It's the piece that's going after the ball once you've that's sacked him. Why is it not got sure hands? I can't understand. Can someone give him like hundred thousand bits to take a shit skill and live it himself? Is that? <laughs> I was there. I was there, and he's like, "Do you know what, Jim? I'm thinking of catch if I level him again." I'm like, "Take your hands, you lunatic!" <laughs> he's like, "I really think it'll be good." <laughs> I'm there, like screaming at the PC, no Rick, no, don't throw it away, and he's done it. <laughs> he's like, I read off his As he got pass on, someone says, uh, Little Baz, want to be a killer goat. What do you think? Do you think he'll have taken <laughs> pass just because he's getting catch ready pieces? <laughs> don't be stupid, of course he hasn't. Yeah, yeah but he's, he's, he's on five. Like, he's the, his whole team. It's like, oh look at this guy! F for like, for, yeah, Fanfuck is incredible. Two plus leap, yeah, rackle, yeah. strip, dodge. Like, he's amazing. You know, yeah. you can leap in this to bulky for the assist and two plus with guards, so you can just almost always get two D on yeah. twos. Even if they're injured, you can do with a run. Do you know what's going to be tough? Picking the ball up if it's in a tackle zone. So if you've got an agility five. <laughs> So all you fear is the one. So what do you take to really nail that as a, as a move that's just going to always work? You take catch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit of a shame. But it's Rick, so I'm sure it will all work out right. And it will yeah, be, it'll be fine. amazing. I mean, the fact that it's 23.30, so anyone against it can induce Morgue and then work out what they're doing with the rest of the money. <laughs> um, but it'll still all be fine. Yeah. So there you go. Um, 
It is. It is a great team. Uh, like obviously the 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 minus strength is horrendous, but he's still he's better than Rookie, right? He he, he does a job. Um, that that bludge guard stand firm spam is is hard to deal with when you're trying to like beat them off and protect the ball. It's hard, isn't it? You know, you've got one hand beating off these Kislev men, and you've got the other hand on your balls, and it's just you're in a you're in a real bad situation. I see what you did there, Jen. Don't think you're sneaking that past us. Um, look, <laughs> having seen them all, you've definitely got the best elves left in the car. I think this is your chalice to lose. <laughs> that is um, that is very, very over the top because, you know, even if I get past Ducky, who's a great coach, these chores yep. are terrifying. These chores Yeah, there's, there's some terrifying, terrifying chores teams. There's some very strong orc teams that probably won't stand up to those chores teams, but just could. Yeah. Um, there's some pro elves. Yeah. For now. There's some Kemri for now. The, the Hellfinning are pretty nice elf team. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. to see them do quite well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Chorfs are the problem for the elves, aren't they? That's the thing. Um, so yeah, it'll be very interesting. Um, so there but, you go. Uh, we are we are shorn of our wood elves. Um, <laughs> There isn't really a Chaos or Nurgle team you'd put a huge ch chunk of money behind. No. So really, it, I mean, I do think some of the Orcs look pretty solid and will get some inducement help. Against the Chorfs, that should probably all be thrown into a pot. Um, and I do think your your Elves look really solid, Jim. So if you can get past Ducky, I think it's, you know, they could go very deep. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, every game is going to be tough for them, right? That, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, we, of course. Great, great coach, then Chorfs, is, it's going to be brutal. Um, but, you know, the, the draw might open up, right, with, with dodgy results. Um, I do fancy yeah. you to get through your, your little... Oh, no, this isn't the quarter. I can't remember who that quarter is. I definitely fancy you to get past the elves. Um, but then... The problem with dwarves yeah, is they just they end up against heavier teams a lot, don't they? And yeah, things yeah, get and certainly those dwarves are not built to take that on. So when that happens, it'll end. I mean, I think I am a slight, very slight favourite against those dark elves, but after that, who the hell knows what comes next? Yeah, uh, but it's not likely to be something that B team is well built to handle. I, ooh, I think Rick's. I mean, I said when the draw came, I think Rick had reached the quarters. I think I predicted at least. Yeah. Um. Again, who knows what he's facing by them, but I think he'll get to the quarters. And then, you know, you're only three games away from another chalice. Yeah. So it could it could really happen. It really could. There's such power in that team. And it's so mobile with so many toys that even if you, you know, get a fireball of the gods and whiz everything down, he just comes and takes it back next turn. It's it's honestly really hard to see how they get stopped. Um, it is, yeah. For example, wow. there's been an Andy Davo kill team down there. That could easily just rip them apart in four turns. But those sort of teams seem to have dropped out. I mean, perhaps he's going to have to wait till he rolls into some big chorfs or something. Yeah. And even then, he's going to have the options. Um, but yeah, something with a lot of killing power and a lot of guard could still cause him a lot of problems. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think with whoever, like, if anyone does beat him, I think they're gonna they're gonna probably have to dice him, no matter how well they play and how good their team is. <laughs> you know, I just think his team is it's just it's just crazy, isn't it? It's just yeah, he's got it's really so many really things. good. Yeah, he's got so many angles. You just pretty much can't play better than them. It's like it's it's just brutal. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop. Like you just can't. How do you, you can't? Unconcerned stop elf, you cannot even run the withdrawn offence against that team <laughs> yeah. uh, because you can't. Once you reach the backfield, you can't screen, and it can get there just as quickly as you got back there. Mm. And then it could just leap in to wherever you've put anything. Yeah. And it can also leap in and fill holes to get surfs, so you can't be that near the edge or the back line mm. either. <laughs> it's it's very tough tough to see how anything can beat it. Except I wouldn't mind taking that on with a you know 2000 2010 killer chorf team. Yeah. Because I'd have lots of guard to bring all the way around my ball carrier. I could slaughter some things. I've got some bulls that you know do come with strength for and can get mo monstrously dangerous on some things. And he's so big, I'd probably still have a wizard on top of all of that. So yeah, lots of tackle, lots of guard, lots of mighty blow. And maybe it can get it done against Rick's team, but it's that's going to be a hell of an ask for whoever gets it done. Yeah. And elves, I guess elves can just elf him. 
Uh, what else? Uh, nine ones, but you know, like, yeah, four ones. I think that draw would end up in the final, wouldn't it? Aren't you top <laughs> half to his uh, bottom half? No, no, no. We're both we're both in the bottom half, so it'd be semi if we if we would have. Played. Okay, semi final then. Um, or some big chorfs. So big chorfs or good elves. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's that's. I think that's your best shot. Yeah. Because all the woodies are gone, they'd have a decent shot, but they all died. Uh, and all the kill teams, the killer chaos and killer Nurgle, seem to be gone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there weren't a lot of Nurgle that came, and Andy Davo's chaos got drummed out. So, yeah, yeah. So it's it's definitely opening up nicely for Rick. Anyway, that is. Let's, yeah, let's, that, let's wrap up the video here because this has gone on. Seventy-five hours worth of blood bolt. That'll do. <laughs> yep. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, thank you very much, Purple Chest and Corfu. <laughs> <laughs> Something like it's hard to pronounce his name. <laughs> Awful. Awful. Um, don't forget. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Apple watch. core horses foal. Okay. Like thanks. a foal, but slightly darker foal. Isn't that close call? Um. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> He's never. He never gives it to me. I swear, I'm going to listen to his mum one time and see what she says. And, you know, I'm supposed to be good at this shit and I never get it right. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Such a tough name. It really is. Right. It, it, it's, the sounds that you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>